metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. May I have your attention, please? Behold my powers! You won't believe my feats of wonder as I make this vase disappear! Abra, ka! Gabra! Sweet sauerkraut! But that pales in comparison to the real magic! Robot, hand me my scepter! This next feat will require an audience member's help. Someone like Chico! Oh, man. And now, with Chico's help, I will fill this scepter with an ancient magic so mysterious, yet all around us. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> My friends, cast your eyes upon these powers of attraction. Attracting what? A messy floor? Hocus Pocus, Alakazam! Bravo! Nino, where do I buy one? But remember, the magic is extremely powerful and must be treated with the utmost respect. Like calling it sir? <laughs> Ow! That show was great. Now tell me, how did you do the trick with the magic scepter? There really is no trick. It's science that's the real magic here. There is an ancient power. But it's something that we've known about for many, many years. In ancient Greece, many people noticed that a material known as amber did something funny when it rubbed against wool. It got this strange sort of power that made some things attracted to it. Well, maybe not that powerful. But for a really long time, the scientists and philosophers tried their darndest to figure out what this power was. Today, we call it static electricity. See, someone figured out that everything around us is made up of teeny tiny particles. Some of these particles are called electrons, and some are protons. These electrons and protons are attracted to each other. Electrons have a negative charge, while protons are positive. Together, they create an atom. The electrons circle around the protons. Your average normally charged atom will have an equal number of protons and electrons. This means the positive and negative charges cancel out, so there's no charge. And this is how your average amber atom works. Until wool comes along, that is. The wool's electrons jump over to the amber's atoms, and whoa, a tiny electric charge is made. See how that wool gave up some electrons? It now has a positive charge, and the amber, which took them, now has a negative one. What a nice way to work. The tiny electrons are always trying to go where there aren't enough of them. This movement is called an electric current. And that's how static electricity works. Carry on, little electrons. Electricity has been here since as long as anything else has existed. Luckily, in the past hundred years or so, we've been able to use electricity for our own purposes. And what other ways is it used for? Lots of things. Uh, the electric kettle. Electrons at work. <laughs> Don't touch outlets. Don't touch outlets. They're electric. They're electric. They'll zap you good. Uh, yeah! Holy carrots! Chico, wake up! W what happened? Did the electrons do this to me? Why, do they hate me? It's not that simple. The electric wires were just doing what they do best. These wires are old, so it's no wonder somebody got shocked. I'm afraid that these forces are too dangerous for us to use. 
we should not be meddling with forces that contain this much intense power. What force? Dangerous? I'm confused. Crash, don't worry. Yes, getting shocked is hardly a good thing, but its uses are invaluable. Electricity is very, very helpful. He's right. So extremely useful. Okay, what else uses this type of force then? For example, let's look at, oh, the lights. Lights around our home are some of the most common uses of modern electricity. So how do electrons factor into one of these things? Well, let's take a closer look. When positive and negative charges in atoms try to rejoin each other, a river of electrically charged particles rushes between them. They rush past so quickly that the atoms in between barely have any time to figure out what's going on. And when that happens, the temperature of the atoms rises. That's why when an electric current passes through something, it gets really, really hot. That little lamp coil gets so hot, it glows. Wow, makes sense. The same thing that makes the light bulbs glow makes the kettle heat up. Take a look. It's even got its own coil and everything. Sure, it's not exactly the same type of coil, but the concept is the same. Don't you see how we need it? If we didn't have electricity, we would all be at a loss. I'm at a loss right now. Well, mm -hmm. what's new? Feel better, Chico. Come on, guys. Uh, say, Pin, speaking of tea... It's far worse than I imagined. These electrons are everywhere around us. You think you can electrocute me? Try to travel through me? Well, today is not your day. Might I say, smashing? <laughs> I'm about to bring you back to the Dark Ages. Damage detected in main power grid. Initiating backup generators. Oh. Well, this is disappointing. I thought I smelled toast burning, but it's just Chico. Hmm. You can't just stop everyone from using electricity. It's part of our modern society, and we need it. You broke all those lamps without me? You know I'm good at that. Ah, well, we'll have a good laugh tomorrow. If you didn't like my decorating taste, you could have just, uh, <laughs> told me. Stop. It's a conspiracy. We are slaves to electrons. Wake up. Our ancestors survive without electricity. Why would we use something as dangerous as this every day? Scary. But none of us can live without it. This whole craft we're on is powered with electricity. Without any power, we'll all just crash. No, I'll fight it if it's the last thing I do. Take it down. Computer, shut everything down. I command it. Chico, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get away from electricity. No more electricity. <laughs> Chico. Hi, Chico. Listen to me, Chico. I have something important to say. Are you my guardian angel? Well, no, I'm an electron. But listen, Chico, we aren't the enemy. We're your friends. I think I can help you out. Electricity isn't just in phones and computers. It's also inside of us. When we want to make any sort of movement, say, like kicking a soccer ball, there are a lot of tiny electrons that make it possible. Our brain sees that we want to kick the soccer ball and sends a tiny electrical impulse down the nervous system all the way until it reaches our muscles. 
Nicely done, Crash. Our brain creates millions and millions of these tiny electrical signals every day. Everything we do is because of moving electrons. And that's how our brains use their own kind of electricity. Shocking, right? We can't beat you. Why? What is it you want from us? Our story begins with the creation of the universe. When we first came into existence, we were young and carefree, zooming around space with reckless abandon. Ah, those were the days. But then Adams had to come around. Yep, the big boss. Suddenly, we had a job to do. We had to stick to our atoms, circling the protons endlessly. Yes, our days of freedom were over. But when we all worked in a system like this, we created things like planets and entire galaxies. And on one of these planets, we came together to make something even more amazing. Intelligent life. <clears throat> intelligent life! Ah, okay. Well, that'll do. Anyway, our electricity was everywhere. And once we let humans figure out how to use it, they were unstoppable. It was our power, the power of electrons, that brought you fire. It brought you the chemical reactions that come with cooking food. And it brings you the very brain impulses that let you dance and have fun. Pretty cool, right? I hope you realize we never meant to bring you harm. But our power is great, and so you must be careful whenever you're around something with electricity. Yeah, I guess I could be more careful. And I guess you're not something to be afraid of. Not really. I'm glad we understand each other. Friends? Friends. <laughs> that was incredible. I mean, sure, we had to sacrifice my ship, but at least he likes electricity now. Great story! Holy carrots! That stuff with electrons making the planets? That's just science. I didn't make it up. But it never hurts to add some character. That's a true story, you mean? We didn't just make that up. You know, to fool Chico, you guys? 